The idea of personalised or precision medicine is really gaining ground. And in the not too distant future, every single time we're prescribed something, exactly what that is could be dependent on our height, weight, sex, and even our genetic makeup. Personalising your medication doesn't always need complex biomedical data to be beneficial, though. What I have here is the beta version of the Exact Cure app. You input your date of birth, your height, your weight, your sex, and details of any other medication that you're taking, because that could have an effect. After you've done that, you can put in information on what drug you're about to take. And this is how you do it. So this is paracetamol. Now, I would probably take two 500 milligram tablets. So let's see the effect that would be likely to have. Well, it's going to last about four hours, which is pretty much what I would have expected. But where this darker blue is showing, it shows that I could be ever so slightly overdosing. So someone of my height and weight maybe doesn't need to be taking two tablets in one go. Whilst the dark blue may represent a little more than needed, when you're clearly taking too much, the dial will turn fully red. With a simple questionnaire on you, on your, your environment, on your body, with something like five or six questions, we can cover something like 90% uh, of the cases. And for the 10 remaining percent, we need complementary information, like uh, are you a smoker or not? Uh, which kind of regimen do you have? Uh, and of course, genetics. We think that pharmacists in the future should have a very important role to play in this ecosystem, not only by selling drugs, but by selling the exact drug and the exact dose for their patients. Artificial intelligence is at the forefront of this revolution, analyzing massive quantities of biomedical data that could transform treatment. Well, imagine you're a scientist and you could read every piece of information that had ever been written about biomedicine. You could store that information and then you could use it to make new discoveries in diseases. There are billions of potential combinations of genes, diseases and drugs. And here, hugely powerful algorithms are at work to establish the best combinations. Genetics will also play a central role in personalising what you're prescribed in future. AstraZeneca are analysing genomes from over 2 million people, and this data could soon be at your GP's fingertips. Patients will actually be at the point where maybe they'll be able to go into the clinic, go into your local GP, and have that genotype already available. So that the doctor will then be able to look up not only the type of genotype, but your individual genotype and match that to the best medicine for you. Some people are even talking about doing this at birth so that by the time you develop a disease, the doctor's already got your DNA. So any one-size-fits-all approach to medicine could soon become a thing of the past, with your prescription always being specific to your needs.